All right, guys. So, tournament number two. Pretty successful. We got a win against a virtual world player. Then we got two losses. One also against a virtual world player. So, in game one, it was against somebody who's recently getting back into the game just like I was. So, I would say, uh, in terms of skill, playing field was pretty even. Um, but, besides that, I was able to not, not even clutch out the win. Um, first game, first match was pretty quick and dry, and then he got me in second match. And then he had shotgun to Nibiru in one of those games, and he didn't fully stop my board, so he just kind of gave up. The next was against Eldlich Orcist, which I had set it in a lot of back row removal, which sadly did not ever come up in a good way, considering that a lot of the Eldlich spells or traps react whenever they are destroyed. And the only reason I set it in so much uh, back row removal was because I did know that there was going to be two Altergeist players before the tournament started. So I thought I would do, you know, a safety check and get that out of the way. So that... I could have maybe pushed into a game three. There was a user error on my part, but besides that, I still would have probably lost. Um, next was against another virtual world player, and he basically triple tactics my Apollosa, game two, and so he basically got... Uh, I, I made his negates for him, since I didn't know that triple tactics doesn't like negate effects, but also, like, that is that is why it's a $90 Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> um... One of my friends there, he just kind of like sat and watched, cheered me on, all that stuff. I mean, I got ninth out of 12th. That's not great, but that means I, I didn't get last, which is honestly pretty good. And overall, that is now a 2-7, to seven, uh, 2 to 5 win-loss ratio. Two wins, five losses. Honestly, it could be worse. Overall, I got a little bit of, uh, I guess, help on how to pilot the deck a little bit better. How to work around at least like a ghost ogre uh take out silver rocket and put it in another rocket recharger since rocket recharger has a lot more utility in like terms of recycling cards and if they blow up your board as long as you can get a striker on field and maybe upping the counter striker dragons to three of um overall I just i just got a like little micro tips on how to play nothing too major i'll keep you guys updated of course and the tournaments are going to be bi-weekly and not every every week since i do have some things i need to do at least every other week so yeah um overall it was pretty fun i i think my friends starting to get back in Yu-Gi-Oh, and after the tournament we kind of like hung out and we made a little like mishmatch monarch deck from all the cards he had because he had really a large amount of monarch cards so i kind of like put them together a deck we did it against Sort of like kind of mitch, mix match dragon deck, and overall the monarchs were a severe improvement. So yeah, um, so it's gonna be nice having a friend who plays the game. I mean, I already have some, but it would be nice to have more. Um, so besides that, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated, of course, on how the tournaments go, how they progress. I got a few blazing vortex and didn't really pull anything good. Um, but if you do play Dragon Link, I guess I'd love any suggestions. I know Chaos Ruler was a suggestion, but that's also a $25 card, the Dragon Maid Engine, but we're a budget player, so we're not about to spend almost $100 just on something that can help me win only a few games. But I, I am trying to improve. Overall, I am kind of scared for next format because the only deck I have that could survive in the next format that isn't Dragon Link would probably be Shadal's, and that is, I, I, I need invocations. <laughs> I need invocations, to put it bluntly, uh, to make Shadal's like meta, or I have to go to the Trap Shadal variant, which isn't as successful, but still isn't half bad. So, I guess I'll also take suggestions on like pretty cheap budget decks that could be good in the next format but i'll keep you guys updated obviously you can keep wanting content and like hey uh, tell me I'm, I'm here for like you guys i guess just as a budget player trying to 
make something out of his little hobby that he does in his bedroom. <laughs> but yeah, see you guys next time.